Hello, welcome back to the Freak Show. Bumpy Mix Quickums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I continue with my Let's Play of Disgaea 2 PC. Alright, well this is very laggy looking. I wonder why. Well, it doesn't matter right now, does it? We probably should come visit the hospital. The old his potal. We're going to heal all, of course, because that is what seriously crazy people do. And I guess we're fine. Yeah, we seem to be fine. All right. Well, let's uh, go. Uh, we could do a couple more summoning experiments. We still have a little bit more to do in Alke City. Well, let's go ahead and get the rest of these done. All right, life of confinement. I'm assuming this is going to be... Yeah, well, we'll see what it is. Hmm. According to my horoscope, the stars are in alignment for great things to come my way today. I'm super lucky. I bet one of those great things will be an ultimate guest that I can summon. That's got to be what it's talking about. Yeah, well, I don't think you should rely on horoscopes and trying to summon a, a badass a visitor. Eh, don't worry. To be safe, I'll also throw in today's lucky item as well. That's uh, still relying on those horoscopes. Won't adding unnecessary items make it even harder to succeed? You're right. So what is today's lucky item anyway? A plunger. R really? What? Did you really toss that in? Guess so. Is it just me, or does anyone else think it stinks in here? <laughs> yes, you are right. Though, it may be our simultaneous imaginations. Yep, it's him. It's, is that Ash? Is that what his name was? think so. Well, where am I? And is Morona here? Not yet, but she will be soon. That aura! You're not a normal human. Hi, my name is Ash. I'm a phantom who has stayed in this world for a reason. Okay. So, you, are you a ghost? But it appears that he has a physical body. Phantoms like me can manifest our physical bodies by being confined to objects. Confined to objects. Oh boy. Does that mean... The plunger? Yeah, as you may have guessed, I was in the plunger. What choice did I have? I'm looking for someone important, and that was the only thing I could find. So you became a plunger. That person must be really important to you. You're right. She's more important to me than my own life. Even before I died. Anyway, I'm so determined that I don't even care that I had to become a plunger. I have nothing to lose. You will give me information about the person I'm looking for. Oh. You'll go no further. For her sake, I will not fail. Oh dear. Well, this does seem to be a little bit of a problem, does it not? Hmm. Aha! There it is. I knew there was a button combination to get the zoom out. Could not remember what it was. Alright. What level are you? I'm sorry, guys. I'm, again, having allergenic uh, issues. 34. Well, we are significantly stronger than 34. I think we're going to let Adele and a lot of the crew sit back. Kashki, you can come out and play. Probably. Uh, Hizzle, yeah, we'll probably throw you out there too. Eh, eh. Yeah, let's get Roxas out there. What else we got? We got Twick. Level 27. Uh, maybe. Uh, 
All right, what else? Dewan's only 34. Wendy's 19, or 18, sorry. Uh, Vera Rose. How many do we have left? We still have four left to dispatch. Jeez. All right, Sarah. Why don't we get you out there? And even if a few fall, I'm totally okay with that. Tink is pretty weak, and these are all just extras. Do we have anybody at the bottom? Doc, Eclair, Almaz, Hanako, Gig, Yukimaru, Taro, Hanako, Sapphire, Pram, Tank, so on and so forth. Alright, Kishiru, I'm still very underwhelmed with, but I suppose we can throw you into the mix. One, why not? Is that it then? One more. Yeah, we'll throw J Man out there. Alright, so. Giga Ice! Okay, so that'll be fine. What do you have? Blade Rush, that seems fine. Raiden Missile. Huh. Uh, I don't know what we're going to do with you yet. Special Triburst? Nope. Gaia Shot? Yeah. Alright, what else? Special Attack. Mega Wind. Probably won't kill anyone. Let's uh, execute that. Chill out, eh? Cool. Foomp. That was it. Okay, I was expecting a bit more. We're gonna keep hurting our people because, you know, that's what we do. Well done, guys! Alright, we got a kill bonus of some stuff and a demon bow. Meh. I I'm sorry. I misunderstood what you're doing here. I thought you were hiding Morona, but now I know that can't be true. During the fight, I realized that you guys aren't the bad guys. You should have noticed that before we fought, Meanie. But there is one bad person here. Um, you're not talking about me, are you? I'm not a bad person. Well, anyway, until I find Morona, I'll travel around with you guys. Morona, I will find you someday, even if it th even if this plunger snaps. Jeez. Ah, bad mental image. Adal recruited the plunger, I mean Ash, to join the group. Pinching his nose the whole time. Cool, I guess. I can appreciate having more allies, but until you have thoroughly washed yourself, don't you dare come close to me. Fair. Alright, next up, one more summoning experiment to- well, I guess there's two, but we're gonna go with a chartreuse gale, which should bring us, uh, Morona. I'm really sharp today. I'm almost scared of my own genius. When you say things like that, I can only assume that something bad is about to happen. Hey, why don't you trust me? Let me ask you something first. Why should I trust you after all you've done? You're so mean. Oh, I know. Just wait until you see my brand new genius summoning technique. Hmm, did you invent a new summoning spell? Yeah, I followed my instincts and thought... Way out of the box in this one. Here, look, into, look at this pot. It has Tardo's game and saved data after he played all night. The character levels are all 9,999. Isn't that awesome? The crystallization of all his blood, sweat, and tears are being simmered together in this pot. Oh dear. Taro knew about this. He would likely pass out. The developers knew that their game was being cooked in a pot like this. They'd probably faint, too. Now come out! 
Come on out, you level 9,999 warrior. They're not instant noodles. I didn't know so many magic work this way. Oh, dear. Oh, my. There it is. It's Morona. Is this child really a level 9,999 warrior? Splendid job, Hanako. You summoned a character out of the game. <laughs> it's because I'm a genius summoner. It's a piece of cake. Oh, dear. I was surprised at myself. I didn't know I could actually do that. Now that I can summon people like this, I'll summon an idol singer next time and get her autograph. Uh, where am I? Where's Ash and Castile? Hmm, they're probably gone. They all got cooked. Dead. They're dead? What? Why, why did you do that? Well, I just... Did, did I do that? That can't be! I was just about to defeat... Just about to defeat Sulfur. I was about to save uh, Ivoir. I'll never forgive you. Chartreuse Gale! Valiant Phantoms, aid me in battle! There's Sir Chartreuse Gale. Look out, Adele. You have to beat her. Hmm? This is all your fault. The least you can do is feel bad. All right, Chartreuse, Gale, and all, huh? Mm. I... Let's just try it. It's time for the Rose Liberation. It's probably enough to kill her, so. Could be wrong, though. That's the power level that we're working with. Deal with it. There we go. Uh, okay. Whew! We barely made it. Hanako! Yeah, <laughs> Sorry. Don't say sorry. You have to take care of this girl. She's your responsibility. No, I don't wanna. Why can't we make Ash take care of her? Huh? Ash? Morona! Ash, is, is that you? I finally found you! Why didn't you say something earlier? Hmm. This is awkward. Why are you running away from me? Because you're the Morona who came out of the game, right? How can I tell if you're real or not? You might just be a copy. How can you say that? Ash, you're a character from that game too. The game is Phantom Brave, for those of you scoring at home. No. I may be a phantom, but I'm still human. That's just the way they wrote you. If you're really the heroine of the game, you shouldn't say things like that. Oh, dear. Uh, I, I don't know what's going on between you two, but can I ask her to join us? Bit confused, Adele encouraged Morona to join the group. Alright, well, um, feel free to continue your discussion. We'll just go home and sleep. Hey, kids! Don't cook games. It's not healthy. That was a PSA. Public service announcement for those of you scoring at home. Don't worry, nobody will do that anyway. It's true. 
All right, I guess we'll go with the with the final one here. We'll see how that that plays out. I don't know. I feel like my microphone's occasionally peaking. Hopefully, it's all okay. We'll see. And finally, it's Anne Rifona, and I have no idea who this is going to bring up, but I suppose we'll find out right now. Are you guys ready? Today, I'm going to summon the best younger sister in all of history. The best younger sister in all of history. What does that even mean? Well, you know how there's a lot of younger sister characters in anime to please certain fans. Yeah, certain. Hmm. But if you ask me, they never do that with us. I see what you're up to. You want to prove that you are, in fact, the best younger sister. That's right. You're so smart, Rozzy. If you summon the best younger sister, I will pop out. But weren't we doing this to summon strong opponents for me? Okay, now open your eyes and witness who is the best younger sister in all of history. Open my eyes? I don't think that's something the best younger sister in all of history would tell her brother. Oh dear. What? I wasn't summoned. Did it fail or something? Didn't it ever occur to you that you might not get chosen? That is not a very nice thing to say to your sister. I don't have any idea. Who are you? Huh? Where am I? This is Veldime. You're an innocent victim of a terrible experiment. Veldime? Well, my name is Miabel. I came from Onrifona. What should I do? Everyone looks so worried. <sighs> I can't believe this. How could this plain little girl be the best younger sister in all of history? This can't be right. This must be a joke. Adele, go beat her up. <laughs> what? Adele? Adele, I'm sorry. Huh? Uh, 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 okay. Wrong game franchise. What? Well, what's the matter? Smile. Aww. Uh, I, I want to protect her. I, I can't attack. Cool. Impossible. Oh, dang. Oh, you're so beautiful. You look like a princess. No. Her eyes look so pure and innocent. I, I can't shoot her. You two are useless. Fine. I'll erase her and become the best younger sister in all of history. Oh, dang. Hmm. I like your clothes. Wish I had a dress like that. Uh, I, I want a younger sister like her. I really want to beg mom and dad to give me one. Darn it. Uh, I have to be a pure and innocent girl. Uh. I guess that's what's hip right now. Huh. I give up. You beat me. Okay, from now on, you're our younger sister. Hey, that's a good idea. Hmm, it seems that everything has been settled. Huh? Are you serious? Ignoring Mia Bell's confusion, Adele and his allies got a new younger sister. Kururu, Lily, help me. We just kidnapped somebody. Okay. Yeah, that's not weird. Or problematic or concerning in any way, shape, or form. Uh, well, I mean, that exhausted the vast majority of our time, but you know what? I think I'm just going to go for it. Let's just, let's just blow through it. The Snarling Capital. I mean, there's a pretty good chance that we're going to be strong enough to just breeze through the battle. So, let's go for it. Hey! It's Beauty Queen Etna and Prinnies. There you are, Beauty Queen Etna. By the way, I have a, a PSA of my own. Or something to let you guys be aware of. If you are PlayStation 4 owners, there is coming 
Disgaea 1 Complete, which I believe is a remastered version of Disgaea 1, complete with all everything except, I think the only thing they said that they don't have is, I believe there was a DS version released for Disgaea 1, and it had multiplayer, that's the only thing that's not being carried over. So all other DLC, essentially it's like the PC version, but remastered. So not, it's gonna look, I don't know, I'm excited guys and gals, I hope I get my hands on it. I already have some stuff in the works, I, I already reached out to NIS America. But I've also looked, and there's a collector's edition for Disgaea 1 Complete. And it's it's a little pricey, but there's a lot of cool little things that you get with it. An Aetna mouse pad, which I guess is fine. Uh, some little pins, again, which is fine. It comes with a printy case, like the little, little package they have on their hips there. Or their fanny packs, if you want to call it something. It comes with a little plush printy cube. And a bunch of other stuff, artwork, posters, and things. I'm considering getting that. I don't know. I wish I could reach out to NIS America and request that, but I'd feel weird. Maybe if my channel was a little bit bigger, I might, but we'll, we'll see. Either way, I'm looking forward to Disgaea 1 Complete, and once I do get my hands on that, I will probably play through it and actually start up Etno Mode in earnest and play through it on the new Disgaea 1 Complete as opposed to Disgaea PC. So that's just something to let you guys know about. I don't remember the date off the top of my head. I want to say... Sometime in the next couple months. I don't remember. I'm so sorry, guys. Uh, I'll, I'll try to know for the next episode. Anyway, there you are, Beauty Queen Etna. Oh, hey, guys. What's up? We have a little favor to ask you. Can you give us a piece of your nail? Wow. Well, uh, huh. Huh? She's Why? sitting on a printy, by the way. You got some crazy fetish or something? Uh, no, that's not it. It's, uh, it's a personal matter. But we really need one of your nails. Just a clipping. Personal matter. Yes, you see. I want the girl. A girl? Shh, we're trying to summon Sin on, remember? What do you think she'll do if she finds out? You're right. She wants to kill my father to steal his title. Uh, what are you lovebirds doing? Don't make me have to bust out the hose. <laughs> Insolent fool! How dare you lay your hands on me? That's great. Ow! What was that for? Oh, you guys. You really want a nail clipping? Yeah? Y yes. Will you give us one? Then let's play a little game. You have to fight these pretties here. If you win, I'll clip my nails. This is really weird. Oh, that's all we have to do? This seems like a fun game. Yeah. Don't underestimate them. If they lose, I'm going to kill each and every one myself. There. Now they'll be desperate, too. That's not good. Huh? She's changing the rules on us, dude. That's not a new rule. It's always been like that. Good luck. Oh, boy. I feel so bad for the printies. Oh, yeah. I kind of forgot that that's a thing, huh? Enemy boost. What do we have up here? Clone. Oh, God. Oh dear. Oh, this could take a while. Oh man. Um do So they'll clone themselves. If we clone ourselves, we don't get to control our clones, right? All right. Um I think we're gonna have to do like a. Oh, I don't know. This is this is not this is not a great situation. It's fine. We'll we'll make it work. But I've definitely seen better situations. All right, let's go ahead and we'll throw Ro Rosalind over there. Go ahead and lift you. Go ahead and lift you. I feel like I may have undersold how far we can reach. Alright, well. Oh, 
Well, I mean, we're not technically done yet. Like, we can still do some stuff here. Alright. Uh, let's see. I wonder how far we can throw people. Oh, it shows. Throw four. Twick can throw pretty far. Uh, six, but a printy can't throw, so I'm assuming that's what TW means. Got a five from Hilipa. All right. We need somebody who can survive over there. Lady Overkill probably can. All right, so let's go ahead and do this. No, I feel like we've already made a mistake. Hmm. Alright, I need somebody else who can still throw. I, I have a plan, guys. It's not a great plan, but it is a plan. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to lift Planair. We're going to lift Lady Overkill. I'm gonna lift Twig. We're gonna throw. Throw again. Throw one final time. I don't know how far she can attack. Straight shot. It, it is actually there. Oh, that's not fair. Hmm. All right, uh, we have two left to go with here. do I have? Alright, we can do this. We can make this happen. I think I'm gonna have her... Gavrazi. Oh, it's gonna be the other way. Alright, Rise is gonna pick her up. Throw her. There she will continue to move. Okay, how much health does this thing have? 200. Her tri burst should be able to finish it, right? She can't reach it. Guy up. There we go. Alright. Let's give it a shot. This. This. They did. Well, at least one of them's dead. All right. All right, one less clone. Now we'll see how this all plays out soon. I think that's it. I think it's literally everybody. All right, if we survive the onslaught, which we should, should not be overly difficult. Lady Overkill got slapped around a little bit, but she should be fine. Dude. Same thing with Harry Tom. Dude. A lot of dudin'. Dude! Ready, dude! Pretty dude! Pretty dude? Ready, dude! Hmm. Oh, yes, the counterattacks. Oh, there's the first of the clones. Just appeared over there. Alright, let's go ahead and... I mean, I'm pretty sure we've got what we need to take this guy out. Let's see here. Alright. Uh... 
lift you. Lift throw. Throw. That wasn't exactly what I had in mind, but it's fine, I guess. Definitely not my uh, my best uh, move here. All right, so let's see how I can line this up. If I can throw. Okay. Okay. I think I got it. Yeah, there we go. Alright. Can't we throw you far enough? Can't. Quite. Alright, hold on. What about from there? Eh? It does appear that you will be going down like a sweet muffin. A bit of damage, and a little bit more. It still lived, I think. See the size of that gun? That was some crazy sauce there. All right. Let's say good day to you, enemy. There we go. Foomp and bloomp. It's done. And now we're a little bit over time, but eh, I think we've got this. It's gonna be okay. Spoon slash too. Interesting. I mean, I don't need to do that. Do Blade Rush. Let's do Hurricane Slash. And done. That kills him, right? Yeah. Anybody else? Oh, he's still alive? Oh, that's disappointing. Alright, we'll just end our turn. The Pretty Bomb! That looked like it hurt a little bit. Okay, there was some singeing. It's fine. Dude. Dude. Ready, dude. Really? Pretty, dude. Oh, the pretty dance. Here we go. Pretty, Gonna dude. drop something on my head. Is that right? Yeah. Like a water basin or something. Oh, the poor little, 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 little wings flapping. That's great. Ready, dude. We are definitely overpowered for this area. Oh, she's actually really close to death. Um, I don't know that I can make it back in time. Hmm. Throw you over there, get you to move in, and... Who do we have? Who do we have? Vera Rose. Coming out to give a little bit of healing to our poor wounded individual. All right, no more of that. Um, oh, that did some damage to me. Oh, man. Oh, I wasn't expecting that much. 
Like, I knew there was going to be some damage, but wow. Can I hit anyone from here? I don't think so. Alright. Alright. Uh, triple strikes more than enough. Just kill them. Should be enough. They heal. Gaia Blast. And dead, probably. Yeah, he did. What are you guys gonna do up there? Nothing, you know why? Because you're stuck. Alright, and with that, let's put him down. Oh, it wasn't enough. I'll move back one special soaring fire targeting height problem. Darn it. throw you up there, but I'll try. I can. Sweet. Ooh, I already did something, didn't I? Alright. Sorry, Rozzy. Got him. There's our sweet, sweet victory. Alright, 2000, 25, 25, plunder hand, fine. Oh, darn, we lost. <laughs> what about us, dude? Is she really gonna kill us? There you go, one clipping from a demon lord. Uh, Adele got a demon lord nail. Are you sure it's okay? A promise is a promise. Right. I promise. We, uh, um, better get going. Creepy. That not? Nothing? You don't want to join us? You're a pretty nice person. She really is. In a really disturbing way. She's gonna kill all of them. <laughs> What's so funny, dude? Uh oh. That wasn't my nail. I gave him a little devil sticky nail. I bought a whole box of them on the Netherworld shopping channel. Oh boy. Why would you do that, dude? Because if I had to fight a fake overlord Xenon, then they do too. Besides, this planet is boring. <laughs> what a dork. You're a pretty nice person. <laughs> Oh, Etna. Uh, was there a reason you had us fight, dude? Nope. I thought it might be fun to watch. But a promise is a promise. <laughs> uh, but you just broke your promise to them, so that means you shouldn't kill them, right? We're doomed, dude. There. Everything's ready. We can now summon the strongest demon in the world. Oh, boy. I'm excited. Who do you think is gonna come out? Don't know. It's gonna be Overlord Zenon. That's why we got the Demon Zenin? Lord Nail, remember? <sighs> I'm trembling with anticipation. Zam. I feel the need to go to the little froggy's room. Oh, jeez. 
Perhaps it is already too late. Uh. Ice grilled newt, toad oil, mushroom juice, a bacon stretcher, and a demon lord nail. We have everything. Here we go. Bacon stretcher, huh? Finally, the real overlord Xenon. Oh boy. She's pretty talented. I couldn't do that. By the spirits of darkness and light, in the name of Adele, I hereby summon the strongest demon in the world. And who are we going to get? Who are we going to get? Come on. Who's it going to be? Shouldn't we have, like, insisted that we saw her clip her nail? Is that Etna? <gasps> ow, 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 ow. Ouch. <laughs> Sorry. Why'd we summon Etna? Oh, what went wrong this time? That's funny. Ah, <laughs> hello, babies. It's time for the news. After news got out about the legendary Overlord Zenon's defeat, overlords from around the universe are on the move. It seems everyone is now gunning for this Etna with the hope of claiming the title of God of all Overlords for themselves. Interesting. Veldheim looks to become ground zero for Netherworld War 7163. Wow. That is a very high number. Lots of war going on here. about that. For the real news of the day, we'll take a special look inside a day of my life since my dramatic return. Axel, baby. Oh, jeez. Came back home alive. <laughs> uh, that's not him. All right, ladies and gentlemen, cheese. You guys sure have a weird sense of humor. First, you summon me out of nowhere, and then you tell me to hit the road. Sorry, yeah, we snagged the wrong demon. Do you think this is funny? A little bit. Ironic. Oh, no, you got it all wrong. I'm not trying to make fun of you. Well, I don't know who the hell you were trying to summon, but the terms of this summon ritual are up. And I'm gone. You owe me one. No, let's make that two. Uh huh. We need another fingernail. <sighs> she is not someone you want to be indebted to. Nope. It looked like the summon ritual worked. But why did Edna come out? Though it pains me to think of it, could it be that Edna is the strongest demon in the world? Could be. Then we have to limit the summon down to Overlord Xenon. Uh-oh. Hey! You guys! What the hell did you do to me? Uh-oh. What's the matter now? My level went down! A lot! Uh-oh. We didn't do anything to affect that. Uh-oh. Oh, that's strange. We used all the right materials, so an accident like that shouldn't have happened. Hey, Adele, you did get us a real Demon Lord nail, didn't you? Yeah, I got it from her, Beauty Queen Etna. Yeah. <laughs> uh-huh, uh-huh. What do you got to say for yourself? So, the Demon Lord nail you needed was for an ingredient for that summon? Well, yeah. Could it have been a fake? Oh, don't tell me. This is all because I gave him that fake nail. Yeah, pretty much. Sorry, Eds. Why did it have to go wrong like this? Damn, I've had the worst luck lately. Looks like I have to resort to the politician's golden rule. If they can't prove it, deny, deny, deny. <laughs> Amen. joking around that nail i gave you was real my drop in level from your shoddy summoning isn't funny i'm a demon lord and a beauty queen damn it this is all your fault you're gonna take full re 
responsibility! Take full responsibility? How? The TV news already reported that I killed Xenon, but they don't know he was a fake. Other overlords are already on their way. Ooh, yeah, that's a kind of a problem, isn't it? If it wasn't for your stupid summon, I could have handled them easily. But now those overlords are gonna kill me! So, this is how it's gonna be. I'm gonna stalk you everywhere you go until I get back to my normal level. There's no escape! Sweet. Oh, yeah. That's good. So Beauty Queen Etna is now part of our party. You can't be serious. This is great. I'm happy. Our plan to summon my father just made everything worse. Did it? I feel like it's pretty good. Episode 10, The Two Ninjas. We're definitely over time, but that's okay, guys and gals. All right. Hey, look at that. We now have freedom to move around and do stuff again. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed, and until the very next episode, my name's Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you for stopping by The Freak Show, and I will see you later. <laughs>